My name is Angel Bernardo, and I will be discussing why are the Common Core State Standards a problem in our current American education system. Here are some images about Common Core and some quotes. One is, one is from Louis C.K. saying, My kids used to love math, now it makes them cry. Thanks, standardized testing and Common Core. Another is Gail Rusiska. Once the standards become national like Common Core, parents have no say. It's an agenda to control education from the top. People with money like Gates want to have a lot of control over what's being taught. Here is an image of an old-fashioned way to do math and then the new way. The new way you use number lines when you, um, the old way you carry over. So here are just some images how Common Core has just created some um, problems for making math a little more difficult than the old way. First, identify a problem in the current American school system. So the purpose of this presentation is to identify the different reasons the Common Core state standards are a big issue in the American education system. It's been 11 years since the development and implementation of the Common Core state standards. It was initially made to replace that wreckage created from the No Child Left Behind. No Child Left Behind Act was first national law to require consequences for U.S. schools based on student standardized tests. Yearly standardized test scores were published for all to see. However, it influenced student achievements, district finances, and measures school and teacher practices. And then, so teachers would only focus on certain subjects and t end up teaching to the test, thus creating a stressful time for teachers and students. By the time the first decade of No Child Left Behind was finished, more than half the schools in the nation were on a list of failing schools. How does the United States education system compare with Finland's education system? Finland is considered to be one of the best educational systems in the world, so I decided to compare it with the United States. Finland routinely outperforms the United States in reading, science, and math. It has been a top performer since the Program for International Student Assessment, PISA, the Triennial International Survey back in 2000. One of the few differences that Finland's school system does, separating them from many other educational systems in the world, including the United States, is their shorter school days, there are more time for play, and teachers will stay with their same students as they move on to the next grades. Also, there's no yearly standardized testing. These are just a few differences that make Finland educational school system a special one and makes it work for their teachers and their students. Another big reason for that Finland has become successful with their education program is their year early childhood education. Finland's early education is designed around concepts of play. It's a hard concept for some American teachers, but Finnish students begin school at age six or even seven. The years before that, the children have more time with their family. They are free to have more time to play and teach and learn from their mothers, and there is more bonding time with their children. Thanks to a state-sponsored maternity and grant that lasts until their children begin school. Does Finland have anything like the Common Core state standards? On one hand, there are common national level regulations and guidelines that all districts and schools must comply with at Finland. And law, its bylaws also set a common educational frame in terms of subjects and time allocations that must be respected nationwide. One of the main differences with Common Core standards and Finland schools is the central role Finland school principals and teachers have in designing their actual curricula at the level of schools. So each school has their own curriculum that will work for each student in each school. Curriculum planning for Finland teachers is what's best for pupils rather than how to get them to do well 
in the next standardized test. PISA 2015. The PISA 2015 scores have also proven that Finland is one of the top schools, especially when comparing with the United States. And though we did score above the OECD average of 493 for reading and science, it was still way below Finland's score of 526 for reading and 531 for science. The OECD math average was 490 and the United States scored below with 470, as opposed to Finland being one of the top with a score of 511. So here is are the scores for math, reading, and science. The United States is in red, and the purple stands for the average, so we are below the average for math. We are right above the average for reading and right above the average for science, but Finland is way up here for all those scores. Personal Worldview of International Education As I compare Finland's educational curriculum with the United States, in my humble opinion, I believe the American education can highly benefit from the ideals of the Finnish schools and teachers. Even as a first grade teacher, I have experienced the stresses from standardized testing. First graders also need to do benchmark testing, we need to do trimester testing, etc. This is the beginning of a highly stressful environment that I've noticed in the educational United States systems are creating. As opposed with the Finland schools, there are no rankings, no comparisons or competition between students, schools or regions. Finland schools are also publicly funded. It would be interesting if the American education system decided to adopt the ways of the Finnish schools. Would that even be possible? Theories that support the identified problem. Researchers, researchers the Obama administration funded to assist Common Core rollout recently found, to their surprise, that under Common Core, the United States students' achievement had sunk. Contrary to their expectations, they discovered that it had significant negative effects on the 4th reading achievements and 8th grade math achievements during the 7 year after the adoption of the standards. The study also discovered that students would have done better without the implementation of the Common Core State Standards. Teachers in schools made massive good faith efforts to comply with Common Core. The problem is that those changes ended up not helping the kids at all. The following graphs will show the decline in scores since the implementation of the Common Core standards. Here are the effects of Common Core in math, Common Core in reading for grade four, effects of Common Core standards in eighth grade math, and effects of Common Core State Standards on 8th grade reading. The red shows where they should be without the implementation of Common Core, and this is where they ended up being. So the red is where they should be around that time where when they noticed the pattern, but with Common Core, it started to decline. It started to decline here and here. What are some best practices and solutions for Common Core state standards? Common Core can't be that bad, so what are some of the best practices and solutions? Though there may be many issues revolving around Common Core state standards, there are also solutions and positive outlooks for this initiative. The purpose of the Common Core state standards is to require public instruction to instill knowledge of rich academic contents to students. They make it clear to teachers what their responsibilities are. It prioritizes reading and analyzing different types of texts, as well as helps students to think inferentially. It's not just about getting the right answer, but the ability to explain how you got there. The standards do not dictate particular strategies or approaches but they do encourage students to solve problems in a variety of ways. 
Recent studies with educators have improved their outlook with the Common Core state standards. In 2014, teachers are more likely to report feeling prepared to teach the Common Core. They are also more likely to say implementation is going well in their schools. And one other to end this presentation. Common Core gave me the flexibility to teach my students individual needs without compromising essential learning goals that ensured they would be ready for college or career upon graduation. And I have been teaching Common Core in my classroom and I believe that it's rigorous enough for my first graders and I differentiate to their needs and so I would support Common Core even though it has been a struggle for um, American education system. And here are my resources. Thank you.